everyone asks whatever whatever they need to I'm sorry, something popped in on my computer. We pray yeah, that yeah, everyone. Don't you ever <laughs> yeah, we pray that everyone um, asks questions for clarity. We pray that everyone be open tonight and that there be no confusion in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. In the name of the Father, Son, and goes, Amen. Before we go get to the exam, I want you to, uh, every time the end product on page 11, is the, the financial statements and reports. That's section three. When you want to look at reports, you always come right here on the fast bar and you go to reports. And you have all type of reports. All of these right here. Company snapshots. Just highlight the most important areas of your business at, at certain times. <laughs> so QuickBooks have all type reports. Can you move your mic, please? This shows you trends and expenses and everything. And with this, um, and you see the sales reports, purchase report, inventory reports, all type of reports here. But the most important reports, the banking reports, budgets, is your company and financials. Now the, the, the customer, make a note of this, the customer and receivables, gives you information on who owe you money. That's the consumable. It gives a, a listing, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, all kind of stuff. Usually this is your family is usually owe you over 61 days. Eh? <laughs> so let's give you an example exactly how much people owe you money. That's the agent. Purchase reports, say how much you purchase over time, placed by vendor. So you could look and say, how many money I spending with this um, vendor? And it, it comes up here. And you see December 19 to 15, can you even go to, they change the date from here, which come from, December to January 1st to January 3rd. Make a note that QuickBooks starts with the month first. This is not the 12th. This is not the, the 12th of January. This is the first week of December. That's very important. QuickBooks deals with the month first then the day, that's the American style. Now, the most important financials uh, reports are your financial statements. Profit loss, there's different variances from here straight down here. This one here is normally the, the one you'll be seeing at the end of the day. So this one shows you the revenue, which is income in QuickBooks, the cost of goods sold, and all expenses. It's just same thing, same category, the five areas. The same thing with the back here manual, prints it off. And you put the data here. Normally, right, it's not, normally you print up income statements once a month. Once every three quarters, once every six months, And once every 12 months, which is annual. You will not you will know what's going on every month eh? with your income statement, which is your profit and loss statement.
the next reports normally happen um, every time you do a banking business plan, they will probably ask you for your balance sheet, which is a snapshot of your financial position. You normally do the balance sheet once a year or when it's needed. You don't be printing balance sheet off every time. If for some, if somebody who invests in the company, they, they want to see that. So you can print it off anytime you want to. Company financials. You want standard for each one of these, eh? although they break down all kind of stuff. Balance sheet standard. So for homework, you would want to go through all of these. Just flip to see how, what they are. And it's just a balance sheet standard. The assets, your liabilities, and the equity, current assets. So it's already book. You see what input receivable is the other current asset because you get this money back. So when you get paid, then you eliminate that. Right now, the government owe me 4,390. And for some simplicity, I put two here, but in reality, you put one. I just showed somebody else that already. Assets, current and fixed, liabilities, current and long term. Assets, what you own. Liabilities, what you owe. Assets minus liabilities equal equity. So you'll have an, an balance sheet got to be balanced. This 632, which is actual total liabilities and equity, 632 must equal the assets of your assemblies. Right there. And don't forget, credit card is a liability because you're the bank. Your debit card is. That's a that's a time question too. The final uh, financial statements is a cash flow statement. Now this cash flow statement maybe look a different than the one I give you. I give you a simple one, but it adds up the same thing. This is what accountants normally use. Don't worry about that because you know accounting like make things so difficult, but you get the same thing. And, and the question for the cash flow is simply this: money in, which is cash in, minus cash out, equal net cash surplus or deficit. If you have a deficit, if you spend more money than you take it, you have a deficit and pray to God you have some money in the bank account to take care of that. But the cash flow is king. The cash flow gives you ability to pay monthly expenses with ease. Account receivable A or no cash flow statement because you don't know the people can pay you or not. You may be dead. So be careful when, when you... um. Dealing with the people who owe, who owe you money. That's very important. All right. So <clears throat> that's it for the financial statements. And um, any, any uh, questions about financial statements, the, the income statement, the balance sheet and cash flow, that's an exam. You got to know that. The, the income statement is revenue minus cost of goods sold, or if you are in a service business, cost of service sold, equal gross profit. Gross profit minus expenses equal net profit or loss. Always remember that. You get a net loss if your gross profit is less than expenses. Can you say yeah. that again, please? You get a net loss if your gross profit is less than the expenses. You get a net income if your gross profit is more. I'm going to resend you. Um, I need you to look at the first module I send you. 
about the presentation of QuickBooks accounting. It, it explains all of this. But I wanna, I wanna send it back to you all again. Show you all what's up. So you can go through this again. Um, the, the creations and stuff. Cash flow equation is simply this. If you have more cash in than cash out, you have a surplus. However, if you have less um, cash in than cash out, you have a deficit. And you can only be uh, saved your money for all over the good weeks. Because sometimes everybody have bad weeks. So one month we be, we be doing bad, but the other months are doing good. So that's okay. The final big time financial statement is your balance sheet. Your balance sheet is assets that you owe, who, what you own, assets you own minus um, liabilities, what you owe equals the equity. If you have less assets than liabilities, then you, then you go bankrupt. All right, I'm gonna send some more information on this, like financial statements tonight. <clears throat> now the biggie. I'm gonna introduce you to this, to the easy, Right now, exam. Like I said, I, I, I'm going to make arrangements with uh, BIC for you to stop in. But if I'm a cool, like how y'all doing now, y'all might have to take this online. <laughs> oh, gee. Yeah, I, I may have to let y'all take this online and uh, make a note now. No, don't. Now, you have two chances at the exam. Number one, you could select that you do a mock exam to test you, test your timing and all that stuff. You may say, I don't want, you know, um, I might want, not want to do section two. I might not want to do four. I might want to do, nine, uh, I might want to do 19 or uh, 20. So you have two chances. One is the mock and one is the final exam. But now, both ex um, the mark wouldn't be um, invigilated, but the final will be. Uh, because of COVID-19 and all that stuff now, I would now, because I've, I've seen islands, I'm doing um, the Gandhi them who, who locked down and all kind of mess happening. And you all, you all have to do it online. And that's how, I, that's how it's done. Um, you will call me, um, normally I do exams two days for the week. Either you do it Monday, anytime, between nine to nine, or you do it Thursday, anytime between nine to nine. The max is two hours. You can finish anytime. So what you do, you would call me and say, Mr. Tranquist, I want to take the exam next week, Monday at two o'clock. I said, another problem. I will tell you, you need to call my exam number. And my exam number is 809-2759. That is 809-2759, 809-2759. And then you will call that, and then you then there'll be a video link in Vigilations. Then you'll just, um, then I'll watch you do your exam. Just like how you be in classroom looking at me or whatever. But you, you'll be, of course, I'll have you think you watch him. You see a face, a, a, a face of me smiling. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll be like a dummy face. Oh no, I give myself away. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> but I still watch you. I still flipping yourself up in the sky, like, like I look at a jail. But, you know, I just watch you. I saw you on and on again, but, you know, you know, I stay like you for two hours, not me. So, but, I spot you. I'm gonna go and do something. Something. We're going to restroom, or, or if I go in to to do something. I, 
I'll let you know that. Okay, so yeah, so and out of now, so with a mark, you can just call me anytime and do it any any day of the week. That's to make a difference. You say Mr. Tank question, take take the test Tuesday. And um and then I just WhatsApp me the answer and I say, okay, um, you feel comfortable? Yeah. And once you feel comfortable with me, then you take then you let me know which Monday and Thursday you can take the exam. Right, so but I don't I, I I don't normally look at the mark. All you do is when you do the mark, you, you go and look at the answers and compare your notes and say, Mom, say I miss this. I should I gonna put cash sales supposed to be child sales. <laughs> you would um look at your own notes and, and the exam questions and answers will, will grade you. And you could time yourself too. So that's what the mark is all do, it's, it's to test you under stress, under exam conditions. But you gotta take the mark. Everyone must take the mark before the finals. And once you feel comfortable. Deadline. Huh? Mr. Tony Chris, what's yes. the deadline? No, 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 I get to that yet. I, I get it yet. I, I set the dates yet. Okay. I still set the dates. All right, the sooner you preempt me, the mark must be taken Anytime before August 31st. That's the mark now, not the final. So you have a, about Amos. What day is? 23rd? You have a week to take the mark. So, so you can take it anytime from tomorrow to 31st. Okay? And then after you take the mark, the final exam will be on or before elections. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> the final exam is anytime on before the 7th of September. Make right this down. Let me see how many Tuesdays and Thursdays in September. I mean, Mondays and Thursdays. Let me double check. All right, we come right down here. All right. The final exam is Anytime between, anytime between the 1st of September to the 13th of September. So you can take it, make a note of this. The final exam could be either on the 2nd of September, the 6th of September, the 9th of September, or the 13th of September. Any Monday or Thursday, all you do is let me know a couple of days in advance and I'll hook you up. Once you call me, let me know, then I'll say, okay, you ready? Then you call me and I say, okay, now you can call 809-2759, then, then you up and running. Now, like I indicated before, your mark is anytime between now and the end of the, end of the month. You can call me anytime and you can take the mark any day. It doesn't make a difference what it is. And you grade yourself. And it's very important. I don't grade the mark. You all still see the exam on the screen? Yes, sir. All right, now, like I said before, and I sent it the information, the exam is divided up in two categories. Category one. Category one is all questions up to from one Two, 18, except number four. Okay. Any, all questions from one to 18, except question number four. Yeah, okay.
category two. You need to select one, only one. <laughs> Order these three questions. Okay. I know the one I want to select. Question four. Question 19. 19. And 20. And 20. Yeah. 19 is mine. <laughs> only select one. So okay. that's why I allow you to go to this mock because you might select a um, 20 and, and think you, you, you could do all kind of stuff and find out that, hey, it's too hard for you and the exam conditions. Don't, I prefer you to do question number four, but you could do any question you want to. You prefer question number four because that's the easiest. <laughs> Anyone else you could do. Now, do you know that question number 19, that's the Lattice. model on page 11 mm -hmm. yep. that answered the whole exam. If you do that, you answer the whole exam. I get that. And that's the what oh, I yeah, everything do. There. Now, make a note, write a stand. If you do a, um, exam number 19, which is page 11, I'm gonna write it. once you come to trial balance, that's the second area. Okay, Only you put one of the top. This radio, mm -hmm. the trial balance. I don't want you to do it, Daniel. All mm -hmm. I want you to do is put cash a hundred. And uh -huh. sales 100. Yay. All right. I want, I want to kill you with all the rest of the stuff. But everything else is monetary. Okay. Fine. Fine. <laughs> and it's easy. Look yes, it is. It is. Receipts. <laughs> the, the eight transactions. Is that you said yes? <laughs> Look at that. The seven books legend. And, and guess what? That's the, that's the whole exam. Look at that. Look at that. You know that by now. I know who will exam. You run to know. The only, only thing you may need to know is sales is 10. Sales, purchase, yeah. inventory, expenses, petty cash, because all this is a printout. Every month you must get a printout of this. Mm -hmm. That's output. Yeah, activity report, sales, purchase, inventory, expenses, petty cash. And once you memorize this, you straight. Nice straight there. Yeah, this will be the only difficult things that because it's 10. So just keep on remember the sales. We talk about purchases, expenses, pay cash, everything we talk about. Mm -hmm. And of course, the exam itself, you, you need to notice, you need to notice for not show the exam. You, you gotta know this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta know this. This part yeah. of your exam, maybe uh, maybe six or seven or ten or I don't know, one of those questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see the five categories of the income statement, the balance sheet, mm -hmm. three categories, mm -hmm. the five statement. So, so 11 is easy too. Now, 20 is, the hardest, 20 is the hardest, right? But don't, I mean, you know, you only accountants who be in business or do the exam or CPA, they like to do 23. I mean, 20 on page 23 for excitement, but you don't gotta do that. Um, okay, you all have any, any challenges of any questions? Speak now. Go oh, on, hold your peace. Any questions? Okay, first of all, everybody got the exam answers, right? Yes, sir. Now, yes. don't forget now. Yes. This is not no open book. Mm -hmm. Your mock exam is closed book. Right. And Everything your, of your toys. And your... That's why I don't like to buy you toys because you destroy them. Right, your open book, you don't mess with that, fool you. And you don't cheat yourself in the mock exam, eh? Because you're spotting mm -hmm. in the final exam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, basically, all the questions are straightforward. All the answers 
are in the manual. And of course, we got all the answers too. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't mind exactly to point. Somebody, I, have, I see, I have a little backdrop on them. But if you're close, you get the, you get the grade. But you can't tell me cash sales is child sales, okay? That's wrong. Tell me the balance sheet is the income statement. <laughs> or write down the four, the five categories of a balance of an income statement, the cash flow statement. I see some strange stuff in my days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so. I don't say assets is liabilities. And don't tell me a balance sheet is a income statement. And don't tell me a debit card is a credit card. Mm -hmm. All right. So any any um, questions? Is rent a charge expense or cash expense? It's uh... rent is a charge expense. No. Nope. What is it? Rent is a cash expense because you got to pay before you, before the end of every month. In okay. business. Okay. So it's a cash expense. Yes, rent is a cash expense because you got to pay that at the beginning of every month. Yes. What? Now, don't forget now, I email you all, all answers now. Mm -hmm. You all study it? Yes, yes, sure? yeah. I yes. No yes. answer that question. Now, first of all, right? Why establish a petty cash system? So that you wouldn't have to, to um, pay. <laughs> for miscellaneous expenses. Yes, for yeah, small. But I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> That's when a business don't want to give, don't write no big checks for a small amount of uh, Expenses like toilet yeah. tissues and little gas, eh? I, what are two types of the transactions in petty cash? Popping up and depleting. <laughs> all right, no problem. All right, so y'all, y'all, y'all keep on study yourself. Okay, do you all? Okay, do you all let somebody ask the questions to you all to answer them? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> like my little friend. I know you have your two little uh, nephews or sons or whatever, but yes, what you do? You gotta know this stuff, man. It's simple. Mr. Timequest. Yeah. Um if I am collecting rent, I'm a landlord and I collect rent. Is that where do I record that? But you when you uh, collect rent, that's a revenue. So that would okay. be create, create, yeah, that would be create sales receipt. Create sales receipt. Yeah, right. that means money coming in, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as a landlord, that's a that's a revenue sales. Revenue. Yeah, so they, they're paying you mm -hmm. up front. So, so that's automatic. So first of the month, or when they pay you, you put mm -hmm. that down as mm -hmm. rent income. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now, okay. uh, what two what two transactions make up the accounts payable ledger? Um, account payable, the, the purchase, um, the charge purchase, and the charge, um, I mean the charge expense. Hold on, All right. charge purchases and charge expenses. Correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. You know, so but there are three types of um, information in the accounts payable ledger. The accounts payable payment account comes at the end. All right. So, all right, no problem. You know. And, mm -hmm. uh, okay. What what is the what two transactions are in the accounts receivable ledger? Two transactions. Okay. What two okay. transactions? Order eight. The, the say on um, the charge. The charge. The charge. Sales and the account receivable sales. I mean, account receivable. I said your ledger. Oh, nope. No. Well, let's close strong now. Finish off. What else? Pardon. Charge sales and what else? An account receivable. What, what did you say, sir? Sorry. <laughs> I said charge. What two 
transactions or order date goes into the accounts receivable ledger. Accounts receivable. You said charge expense, charge sales. That's correct. What the other one is? Charge sales, charge expense. All right. Um, it, it's it's accounts receivable payment on account. Ah, oh, that's right. Aye, do I mean when you're on an exam? Did you say, ah, oh! <laughs> ah, oh! <laughs> charge sales increases. That means someone come and got your stuff. Mm -hmm. And then accounts receivable payment on account. Yeah. So it's when it decreases. That means they come and pay off it. Okay. Remember, I tell you, so don't ever charge your family, friends, and fans. They always don't pay. All right, so that's enough for you all now. You all to study now. No, you all need to no, good. good. Come on, bring it on. Bring it what on. I, come, I only hear one person say bring it on. No, bring it on. <laughs> Why too hard for this? <laughs> all right, okay. So so what is QuickBooks accounting um, replace? It replaces the, the, the old manual yeah. way of doing um, um, bookkeeping and accounts. All right, mm -hmm. I can ask you all nothing but no eight main transactions. You all better know that. Uh -huh. and, I, and I actually know. Okay, what, what is eight transactions here? What do you think they sound tonight? Okay, yeah. 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 Cash sale. Cash sale. Cash purchase. Cash purchase. purchase and charge purchase. Cash expense and charge expense. Charge on accounts. Yeah. Account receivable payment accounts on account. Payable. Account receivable. Payment on account. Okay. Just make sure that hey, don't mix up cash with charge for God's sake. Don't do that. Good. Now, I, now what, what? Now, um, what are the seven books? Let's just journals. Oh, oh, um, Some of them need to put up their hand. Sales, oh, right. sales journal, sales journal, journal, purchase journal, ex, expense, expense journal, expense journal, cash book, cash buying book. You have the account payable ledger and the account payable, I mean, account receivable, receivable. and the general ledger. And the word ledger? General. In general. Excellent. All right. So now, and, and I know you already know this one. What? What is the difference between purchasing costs and operating expenses? Purchasing costs is when money uh, is like the, the inventory products and the uh, the raw material and services that is <laughs> that is used um, that you buy buy um, with, to sell over, over to make a profit. Operating <laughs> expenses, monies the company pays out to to support to um, the business complement and facilitate uh, the buying of goods and services. All right, excellent. Okay, so um, I explained. Um, uh, about everything else. So yes. you all should be, and I, you all should know what a source record is, so I'm going to go through that the job. Now, I, I know you all don't know what a trial balance is. <laughs> of course. Oh, you all forgot. Trial balance, trial balance shows, shows, it shows the assets and liability of a company, basically the position of the company. No. Nope. Uh, the nope. trial nope. balance you, you shows that wrong. Like as the trial asset minus liability equals one of the trial balance has equal oh, so debt and credit. Balance sheet. <laughs> well, your product would be now. That's what a trial right. balance it is. That it has equal balance and uh, equal debits and credits. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, all right. Yeah. Anyhow, yeah, anyhow, I give you an extra tonight. That's and, what you uh, think. Look here. Oh, we <laughs> actually. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, y'all all like a six tonight, man. You, said, yeah, you, said, you, you need to make up for last week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you want something to make? Get it. Yeah, like, make up for last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you want something? You want to hold up. Make up for last week. Yes, right. Don't think I'll sleep, man. I'm like, no, serious, man. Anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, y'all take your time and... um. <laughs> Uh, like I tell you, you have um, make it, you always have a record. Just mm -hmm. let me know anytime, starting from tomorrow to the mm -hmm. end of August 31st. Mm -hmm. you take the, you take the Mark. Mark. right, it's mandatory. You can take the you can take the any day, just let me know a day in advance. Yes, sir. And, and all you can say, Mr. Tank was, I'm taking it Wednesday, two o'clock. And when you finish, 
taking it, just let me know you finished taking it. And I Important want you to I, I don't want you to WhatsApp me. Take a take a shot of your exam and WhatsApp to me. I'm not gonna grade it. Much, you gotta grade yourself. How many times can you take the mark? Once. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so start <laughs> studying like crazy tonight, and then the exam once, the mark once, okay? Yes. Yeah, so so y'all should not fail. I don't I don't I know a failing person in my life. Y'all be the first person from Abaco and also fail. Oh wait. <laughs> We have you, a next you, shot, right? You, you can't see please how long you all you, hey, you can't see how long you all take this exam. No, no, no. People who do not, no, there's some people who don't want to take it. So the people who, who, who don't want to take it, some say, I, they, 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 you know, they may be business owners or they may be lazy. I just give them a certificate of participation. Mm -hmm. You don't get well, a okay. grade. Yeah, no, I, I, like, you know, I just like a little, the, the emoji with the tongue, oh, um, like, oh, that's it. <laughs> Certificate of participation. That means lazy. I'm right? not lazy. <laughs> I want to do the exam. You, you know, so you got you want A. You got make a, up my certificate. And it's approved by NACOP. So you do that artist to your resume, all kind of stuff. And and, and the certificate will be sent to BAMZ for collection, eh? So I'll, Where? I'll I will send um when you know, I'll send all one time. So by the, a week after that. By the twenty first, I'll I'll just send um send it to, to Bamsi by Patrice, and then y'all can pick it up for more. All right. You confusing that B A I C. What what I said? Bamsi. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> it's Bamsi. I mean it's B I C. I like both of you all the same, you know. But I yeah. like B A C. I was a board director of B I C for nine years, and yep. I did. And I did thousands and thousands of dollars worth of work for Bouncy. So I love both of them. You know, although over the years, I know what happened to both of them, but anyhow. All right, Leela. We will we, 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 we'll get back in the, the game. Wink, <laughs> wink, ain't long now. Oh, Jesus. I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, BIC, I'll, by the 21st, I'll have it. Win, lose, or draw. Either you get a, a certificate of participation. With a little emoji, a little tongue open, hanging out. Check. Or you get wow. a Yeah, yeah. Normally, you know. But, I, but a lot of people fight at the end, though. I like my students. They fight. I supposed to go um to um come back to Abaco, but the COVID-19 can stop me to come back until October. But I suppose so I have to go. Um, I supposed to go to Inagua on the on the guess what? On the 17th. What, what happened on the 16th? Elections. Elections. Ain't nobody sure. made no training that time. Oh no. Hey baby, partying. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But I'll because you'll be safe now because you're you on uh, even now so because boy, we do you know a lady died of she have a, a she had diabetes type two and she already got two shots and she died Saturday with COVID 19. She, and a she's younger. Bleeding. She's an old woman, older woman in her oh, 40s or 50s. And she's bleeding all over the place. They what? said that COVID-19 hit her so hard that must be brace her brain. She had a she had a lot of problem with uh diabetes and and that COVID-19 come. Boy oh boy. And she would have two shots. She, she didn't live a day. Wow. That wipe her right out. And, and next they put on ventilation. She said that on, on a ventilation. Wow. So y'all be care careful, Abaco. Yes. Sir. You, you all on you all on lockdown again, eh? Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. So we we are nine. So so we we one step better than you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. They, 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 they this, still get us locked down. Yes. My mic. I mean, my what you call it? Oh, uh, my camera's not working. Your what? On this laptop. I Your camera? Yeah. So what you want me to do with that? <laughs> I no, but I mean, you need to see me <laughs> taking my exam. No, you don't get it. Eh? You you take it on. Uh, you take it on your phone, eh? I don't want no huh? laptop. No, what you? I can take you, it on you, my you, phone. You, yeah, you WhatsApp me the video link. WhatsApp video. Okay. 
and then you okay. and then you just um dial my number then i say i press okay and then i'll watch you on the exam. phone okay then that's yeah. fine my phone okay yeah you just yeah you don't gotta do exam it's it's, it's handwritten you don't gotta do no, no typing out okay then all right all right so, all right, so good night patrice so says good night everybody nice speaking with joel and nice and you always a nice class i have a call nothing nasa or nothing too <laughs> yeah both of y'all so take care yourself right. and um uh, this is recorded for the people who couldn't make it some people said they couldn't make it tonight so i recorded it and that's going to be what's um i'm going to send a link tomorrow sometime so you can watch it again in case you'll miss something okay. and the people who, who couldn't make it tonight all right yes. so patrice um say prayer. okay let's pray heavenly father we thank you for this evening we thank you lord god for this gathering. Father, we thank you for our instructor. Father, we pray right now, Lord God, as we depart out of this meeting, Father, I pray this night that you will go with each and every one of us, Father God, that you will be with us through the course of this night. Give us sweet sleep, cover us under the blood, protect us right now in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. I pray. Amen. Amen. So Patrice, do, amen. amen. And then the father started to go, amen. Patrice, that mean you wasn't seeing nothing tonight on, on, on the screen? No, um, I saw you, but I mean you can't see me because my camera's not working. No, no, no. I, I remember seeing you. Once you, but you saw the information though. Yeah, I saw that. Excellent. Mm -hmm. I mean you said you have you have to watch us. Take yeah, the exam. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I want to do it on the phone. Thanks for that uh, clarify that. Okay. All right. Okay. And Ollie, when you take the exam, just take a picture of the uh, the, the exam. And then you would what's up me it. Okay. Okay. Like I can tell you I would mark the final, but not the mark. You mark yourself with a mark. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Excellent. Good night. All right. Night. Well, sleep trees. Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs>